Hi guys, this is Steve from Red, White and Blue, PH. I was just about to leave to go to Lingay Inn, to go to the beach to bring you a different video. Uh, but unfortunately the weather forecast is in the next two hours it's going to be pouring with rain and by the time I get there I don't think I can bring you the footage I wanted to do so I really feel like um, bringing you some of my content and I'm standing here in my yard with my friends in the background and I want to talk a little bit about um, the house this is base camp for me right out here in the provinces and what I've been doing here for the last four or five months where I've been renovating the house uh, to make it somewhere I want to live because this house we bought me and my wife bought about four years ago and it was more of a rest house where we could come from the city maybe once a month spend a couple of days and then we head back to the city and get back into the rat race but now this is my full-time home my base camp so I wanted to renovate and starting off by renovating uh, just an office or my den where I produce all my videos and my content then extended to living areas uh, to a maids area to a dining area a new kitchen three kitchens actually uh, it just kept on going and going and going so I want to bring you some of the footage of that so at least you have an idea of what I've been doing as well in between shooting YouTube videos and having fun riding my motorcycles. If I have a choice, ride a motorcycle, renovate a house, I'd rather be riding the motorcycle, as always. But anyway, let's uh, go and have a walk around the house and uh, I'll try to show you what my vision was of turning an old farmhouse into something which is a bit more modern and yet still keep the characteristics of a farmhouse at the same time. Let's go for a walk in the house and <clears throat> I'll give you a bit of a show of what's, what's been happening and what is Base Camp 1 for me when it comes to doing my YouTube videos and where I live in central Luzon in Pangasinan, Mangathren. Okay, let's go for a walk. So the first thing I actually wanted to do was actually really, really simple. I wanted to build a carport because I had to park my vehicles outside on my driveway and uh, also here in the front of the house. And with the elements and the storms, I was having to wash the cars every day and cover the cars up. So I wanted to build a carport. So the first thing I actually built was a carport. So the carport at the moment only has some motorcycles inside my babies, my motorcycles. So the carport has been finished and this area here leads to back of house. This is not an area I actually use. Um, this is where some of my staff do the cooking, uh, cleaning, washing, different things. Um, but giving it a spruce of paint, cleaned it up. I think grey is a nice colour. Or do you think it looks a bit like a battleship? I still think it's a nice colour anyway because it's a neutral and it kind of fits into the farmland as well and matches all the grey stone we have in this area. So then from the carport I thought, you know, I'm going to need a den, an office. And so I built this, my den, my office. And this is where I produce my YouTube videos. Uh, this is where I connect to the world with the internet. Um, this is where I do my planning. This is where sometimes I sit and think and contemplate and what am I going to do tomorrow? What am I going to have for breakfast? And what should I be doing next month? And uh, actually planning for the future and thinking a lot about the past. But that's another story. And then, of course, I decided, well, if I'm going to do that, I might as well start doing all the tiles as well. So I retiled the whole of the house all around the house itself. But if you actually look up at the house itself, you actually see this is not a small farmhouse anymore. It was quite small, it was mainly wooden when we first uh, bought the house. Uh, we've done a small renovation when we first actually bought it, so at least we could use the house with bathrooms and what have you. But then now with the extensions, it's become a pretty large farmhouse. Um, my farm is next door and behind, but um, 
yeah, it's coming along and nearly finished. So you might see some workers moving around. Maybe we'll have a chat with those. Uh, they promised me they're going to be finished this week, but coming back after Christmas and the new year because we have more work for them to do. So why don't we go and have a look inside? Entrance way now of going into the main living area of the house. On one door here, this is my office, my den. So I kind of keep that separate. And then this doorway here leads into the living area. So let's go and have a look inside. So when I first bought this house, where I'm standing right now was the living area. This was it. No bigger than this space here. And I thought to myself, and also speaking to my wife, saying, look, if we're going to live here now on a more permanent basis and keep this a base camp, uh, we have to extend um, because of all our furniture. I want somewhere to put the piano and the sofa and the dining tables and different things and make it feel like a home. So we decided to extend slightly upwards and then into this area. But I really wanted to make everything glass. And the reason I wanted to make everything glass is because I have a tremendous view of the Calicassan Mountains, which is totally uninterrupted. So coming up the stairs into the extended living area, so down there I'm going to have piano and what have you. This is going to be the main sofa area, living area. And if you look at the glass panoramic view we actually have, please excuse all the building materials because we're not quite finished yet, but if you actually look, and I'm not sure if you can see the mountains from where you are, but that view is just a priceless view. And so I wanted to be able to sit in the living room in the morning, drink my coffee, or sit on the veranda, which we've also built, this whole veranda on the outside of the house. So in the evening, I can sit there and enjoy maybe a glass of wine or maybe watching YouTube, not watching myself, watching other people and enjoying the best of the best. But if we look up towards the, the ceiling, I want to try and keep the farm element to a house. So if we look towards the ceiling, you'll see that the beams have gone in to give it more of an old-fashioned look, give it more of an old-fashioned look, but yet still a little bit modern. You'll see that the, for the dining table, there's going to be some lighting, which is kind of nostalgic. I really, really like this kind of lighting. I think the ambience it gives to a room, especially in the evening, is quite, is quite spectacular. And then some modern touches with the, over here with a quartz wall. This is supposed to be the TV wall. And then I changed my mind. I decided to get a projector, which is a high resolution projector. So I can watch TV on a curtain. I can watch it on a wall, um, project it rather than having just a standard TV sitting there. So at least, again, more space, less clutter. The word they use is minimalistic and that's how I want it to be. Now, if we go down the stairs, and you follow me here, sorry, the lights are not on at the moment. This is what I've got the chaps working on at the moment. The stones were finally delivered. Um, this is uh, granite. Actually, it's very, very thick. And I had to get some specialized contractors to come in to do the granite and to finish, which is a show kitchen. This is not really a working kitchen. The working kitchen is behind. We're not going to go there now. But uh, this is a show kitchen, so at least when we entertain, we can have, of course, the stools. You can have like a little bit of a bar area up here. We can pass out to the dining room, pass out to the veranda, and some decorative lighting, which is covered up at the moment because of all the dust with the grinding of the stones. Let's just go outside for a second. I want you all to see this view. So coming down off the veranda, um, wow, it's a really, really hot day at the moment. It's gonna be rain soon. 
But if I walk out, if I walk out, that view is why I've done everything. That view is why I wanted to build the extension. I didn't want to have concrete walls blocking me with little windows. I just wanted to have glass. So at least I can wake up and see Mother Nature at its best. And I can also see the storm clouds coming in um, every other day across those mountains. Those mountains are quite high. That's Kali Kassan Mountains in Mangathrem, or just outside Mangathrem. Beautiful for riding on a motorbike if you get the chance. A lot of people try coming up here to ride up the Kalakasan Mountains, but at the moment it's closed to vehicles. You're not allowed to ride your motorbikes, you're not allowed to ride your cars. Um, they are talking about opening the road maybe in the next 24 months, so at least you'll be able to have more tourist visitors, more local visitors who can actually go up there and have some wonderful views and enjoy the experience of the mountains and the air and the beauty of everything which is actually here. Hi, so this is Jason. Jason is from Kaufman. Kaufman is a company which is based in Manila or just on the outskirts of Manila and they specialize in the stones. So I've only really got to know him just recently, him and his team, but uh, he's going to tell you a little bit about uh, his experience being here in the province in Mangaturem after coming from Manila. So I think he's having a bit of a holiday actually, so he's enjoying himself. So I'm not going to say any more. I'll leave it to Jason to uh, say whatever you want to say, Jason, about uh, being up here and, and enjoying yourself. Well, I hope you're enjoying yourself. Yes. And then uh, you can maybe talk about your work, what you do. Hi, I'm Jason Patagok. I uh, sub uh, subcontractor of Kaufman Company. Kami po yung gumagawa sa mga ginito, mga island countertop, uh, mga uh, countertop at ngayon. Nandito kami, nandito kami sa mga kasama ko sa mga tarim. Nakapunta kami dito, napakagandang lugar, yung mga bundok, mga tanawi. Napakagandang mga tanawi dito sa mga tarim at napakabait yung mga tao dito na nakilala po namin. At ngayon, uh, nakikita nyo naman po na malapit nang mapatapos yung gawa namin. Uh, 13 years na po ako nagtatrabaho sa granite. Uh, bilang isang installer ng granite, marami, ba, marami na po akong experience tungkol sa mga installation of granite. Mabuhay ang mga tao ng mga, ta mga tarim. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> So there we go, just a very, very short tour just showing you some of the things I've been doing. Of course, I couldn't do it on my own. Um, I just uh, worked on the planning and didn't stop planning, didn't stop building, but uh, looking forward to Christmas coming. We're gonna stop work this week and then resume work in the coming year. Uh, I think I'll start doing a lot more work upstairs. Oof. It's expensive to mind. But anyway, it's got to be done. This is home. This is base camp. So just want to share it with you uh, because a lot of you may be wondering, so where does this guy stay? Does he stay in hotels, moves around? Now, this is base camp number one for me and this is home. And as you see, that's part of my family behind me with my goats. Uh, I'm not showing my chickens and my ducks and my fish, but, but anyway, this is home. So anyway, you guys take care. Um, if you like the channel, uh, please subscribe. Uh, hit the notification bell and I'll continue to bring you content as much as I possibly can. Alright, take care, bye.